you had posted the other day about the ASO giving everyone notification about essentially doing homework or, or another term uses mapman. Yeah, actually what they, what they did now, I mean since last year we're not allowed to have any maps in the car and now we're not, not even allowed to put some personal notes into the road book. We can modify it a little bit, we can color it, you know, like every one of us is doing it, we're using different colors to highlight special informations. But what you do usually, you look on the map, you try to find the track on the map, and then you put some additional comments into the road book, like you're going towards a big dune and you try to stay on the right side of the big dune, or you have to cross it over to find a valley. And things like this, we are not allowed to put into the road book anymore. But for me, that is a part of our job. I mean, we are navigators, so we have to find the way in the desert, but they don't, don't want to give us any tools to work with. And um, that's a bit sad, and I think that's not, not the right way. Um, if we get only, only this one, only this roadbook, the problem is that the roadbook is not always precise, and without good information, you have got no chance to find the way in the desert. That means that the first car who's running into trouble, or the first bike that's running into trouble, because the roadbook is not good, is looking for the way, and then the second one is joining, and the third one, and finally they will find the solution, and they will find the way, and the fourth one, for example, comes and sees them and follows. And he's a lucky guy. But if I have got the possibility to prepare myself, then maybe I don't get into this, in this situation and I can find the way on my own, you know? And that's what I don't like. Is this, uh, what they're doing, is this atypical for, for rally navigation? No, it's new. It's a new new rule from them that, that we are not allowed to put any information into the roadbook. And um, they, I, I have got the feeling that the ASO actually wants us to struggle. You know, they want that they, that they like to see that the classification is changing every day, that the cars and bikes are lost, and some people from behind have got the chance to catch up and, and to overtake. And but for me, that is not not the fair way. I mean, if I'm doing a good job, I want to be able to to have a good run, you know, and, and I don't want to to be to rely on, on luck. That that's not that should not be the way. Do you feel like this will cause a great setback with drivers or, or cars? Um, a setback, what does it mean? Uh, I suppose now the as you said, this creates kind of a an unfair uh, or a disadvantage for, for instance, the lead cars because yes. they're the first ones to have to um, confront these different obstacles. And does it unfairly allow the back of the pack, who maybe aren't performing as well, to succeed past the, yes, the front? Definitely, and yeah. especially in the, in the, I would say, like in the top ten, it it helps to change the classification every day, but not on a fair way. I mean, like I said, if, if if you are unlucky, you lose positions because you, you have got no chance to find the way in time because you cannot take your information with you. And for me, that's against the spirit and against the idea of navigation. Yeah. It's a lottery sometimes. And do you think there's a different solution that the ASO could have taken? Yes, they, they um, should not have done this. I mean, they should not have put this paragraph into the rules and they should let us do the job like we did in the past. I mean, then you have got the chance to, to prepare yourself, to work with all the tools you have got, you know, to, to look at a map, to find some information, add them into the roadbook. That's all work and that's all part of, of my job. And if I do that nicely, then, then I've got the chance to be better than the other guys. But now they, they take that away from us. Um. Does your team use a map man or map men? Do you know the term? Oh, well, of course you know the term. All, all teams using map men. Um, a map man is a specialist who's working parallel to us while we are preparing our road book. He's looking at the map and tries to find the road on the map. And we do the same. And then later we, we don't sit together, but we look at the, the work. And um, we look at the track on, on, the, on a Google Earth file or on Google Earth. And all professional teams doing it like this and there's no way to to how do you say that in English um, to make sure that no one could do this so everyone is doing it every professional team if it's KTM Honda Yamaha or the, the, the car teams um, Mini Toyota and Peugeot everyone is doing it and um, 
that is a professional way to prepare yourself. If you don't like that, if you don't want that, then you cannot give us the roadbook before the start. That could be the only solution to have it fair to everybody, to give the roadbook in the morning when you start. Then you've got no preparation time. But the problem is that this roadbook is full of mistakes and we get every day like six to ten pages of changes to correct the roadbook. So they cannot give it to us in the morning because we have to correct it for safety. Um, so I don't know. They should not... Um, that's the next thing. They should not um, put rules um, they cannot control. You know what the guy is doing now? I know it from some guys. They're cheating. They take extra papers with, with some extra information. And um, after that, uh, that information, if, uh, if they don't need the information anymore, they throw it out of, out of the window. Because the organizer is only checking our roadbook in the finish. They take our roadbooks, they look through them, and if anybody has got any forbidden information in it, if not, it's fine, and so of course they will not find anything because the people they do it on a different paper, and they don't check that. They should check the road books and and the cockpits in the morning before the start, but they're not doing it. Do you think that this is going to be a regulation that lasts very long? No, I, I hope that they will cancel this regulation because it makes no sense, and it, it makes no sense. It's taking the tools away from us, and it forces many guys to cheat. And, and that cannot be the right way. For me, that cannot be the right way. And so I hope they will leave this rule or they will find another solution. And last thing, if they do decide to keep, uh, keep this regulation, do you think that might affect like the number of entrants, people who now know that they have to contend no. with this? No, I don't, I don't expect that. But I, I think that more people will cheat. And for me, that's not the way to go. So <laughs> it's stupid.